Thank you. The next question is for uh, Governor Ige. Uh, Hawaii faces a, faces a significant long-term funding shortfall for health care and pension uh, commitments to its government workers. What will you do to see that the pension and health care commitments of retirees are met? You know, I am committed as a priority to keep our promises to our public servants. I have reformed the pension system by increasing the age for new hires that they can retire, increasing the contribution that new workers make, reducing the benefits, and stopping pension spiking. I have taken action to ensure that our pension system is sustainable over the long term. And most importantly, I committed and wrote the law to pre-fund the health fund benefit. We will be making the first 100% contribution to the health fund to ensure that our promises are kept. Thank you. And we'll add about another 10 seconds uh, for a Congresswoman's response. Thank you. Pension and health care are the two most important issues for our public employees. But it is even a greater issue when they become to the retirement age. And that's why we must make sure that the pension system, ERS, is viable. You know, um, the problem that the, the governor has is he takes credit for things that others have done. We know West Machida in 2012 led the way when he was the chair or he was executive director of ERS and he's now back there. Health fund is also something that we must consider and take a hold of. And one of the reasons that we do it is that because we know that that is something that when you are older and you're retiring, you need to feel secure and health care costs is always a major concern. Thank you.